Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just recording this video for the Free County Software users to show you our new um, software that we'll be releasing very soon. This is actually a desktop software and uh, we're switching to a desktop software um, as well as the, the cloud one. So the cloud one will be continued on in another format or upgraded and, and we'll combine it with um, this desktop software as well. So um, the objective here is to you know, create a software that's really a lot easier to use um, rather than something that's got lots of different features. So anyway, um, after um, starting it up, you've got to unlock your identity file, um, which just involves selecting your file and then entering your password. Then you can open your business file. Okay, and what I'm going to show you here is um, the single touch payroll lodgement, which is a new requirement for businesses who have 20 more or more employees, and they have to comply with it from 1 July 2018, so right now. Um, micro businesses, which is most of our users, will have to comply with it from um, um, 1 July 2019. But you know, given that um, this is going to be the, come the new way of reporting payroll, um, you know, uh, this uh, this new desktop software supports that um, process. So, um, because we're reporting to the ATO, it's it, payroll is going to be done in batches. So, uh, rather than just having individual pay slips, it's the batch that gets lodged to the ATO. Um, and I've I've already created one here and lodged it, so I'm going to create a new one. Okay, I've got this screen shrunk down quite a lot so that it fits in the video. Um, now you just give the um, batch a description. It's actually the 8th of July today but um, I've already, I'll just, this is just an example payroll so um, normally you'd probably make the pay period from the Monday through to the uh, Sunday let's say and then the uh, payment on the Tuesday just as an example okay um, once you've created the batch go to the batch transactions and then add a pay slip um, select the employee I'm just going to pay him 30 hours at $30 per hour system calculates the gross tax and super um, what we've got down here is what's called pay event info. So in single touch payroll it's this pay event info that gets reported to the ATO. Basically some details of the employee and year to date amounts. Um, this says finan final pay for the financial year. No, uh, if we say if, we, if it was the last pay for the financial year we'd flick it to yes and you know you don't have to actually issue a pay-as-you-go payment summary um, because the ATO knows these year-to-date amounts okay uh, if you're happy with the pay slip you just save it um, then go back to the batch I mean you would add as many pay slips as as you like you know but for this example one will do um, just double click on the batch to go back into it and in then go to click go to STP Lodge. Um, all right, now the system generates these uh, sort of header information, information about your business, um, payer declaration. Okay, so we've got to fill that in. Um, uh, this uh, tax agent details um, is generated here because the profile that I opened, or the, sorry, the um, free accounting software identity file that I opened was actually a tax agent um, identity file and it's just example data here so this is going to an ATO test system not an actual live thing it picks up the OS key from your um, um, from your, your computer because it's desktop software and type in your OS key password then click lodge okay and that sends it off to the ATO now it does this send by batch bulk type lodgement so basically it's just sent that to the ATO it hasn't retrieved any messages so we don't know if it's got 
errors in it or whatever yet. Um, now the system will automatically retrieve those errors in 60 seconds. So, you know, um, 60 seconds isn't a really long time, but, you know, it does get a little bit uh, annoying. But anyway, it's probably time to go and um, get a coffee or something. Um, but yeah, so in a moment we'll get the error messages back, but in relation to single touch payroll, I think that you know it is sending more information to the ATO, so it's a bit of work there. But um, as you can see, it's sort of built into the process, um, so it doesn't really um, it, sh it shouldn't be too much more difficult. Um, but of course, you've got to run your payrolls correctly uh, on the day, rather than um, yeah. Anyway, um, it's retrieved the messages now, so. Um, it's green which is good and it says OK so you just get that OK and that tells you that it's been um, lodged and look that's just about all there is to um, single touch payroll in the um, new free accounting software desktop um, product. Uh, I hope this um, video has been um, useful for you.